Hi guys, it's Tessa. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be drying my hair and trying out the new Lee Stafford Curl and Dry All-in-One Hair Dry Brush. I am really excited about this product because I've seen so many videos and I just find it super interesting a cool way to dry your hair in half the time now i've already used this product once but i wanted to show you guys because i literally dried my hair in under five minutes it was all dry and styled and i just couldn't believe how quick it was to do so i'm going to be showing you how i do it i have partial dreadlocks so where my undercut used to be i have dreadlocks and i even used this hair dry brush on the end of my dreadlocks and it brushed out the ends and just gave it a really smooth and silky look it was just gorgeous you can get this in different brands it's just the all-in-one hair dryer brush but seriously <laughs> I wish I bought it sooner because this is just super cool so if you look closely the head has bristles and like teeth in it like a normal hair brush does <laughs> we're gonna see how quickly we can dry my hair using this tool high and low setting and there's also a cool setting if you want to like set the style with the cold air and I like using the cold setting anyway because I have quite fine hair so I don't like to use a lot of heat and it's less damaging for the hair if you're using it on the cool setting rather than the high setting but it works just as good it all depends on the thickness of your hair so easy to change the heads like that and then when your hair is dry you just wrap your hair around the wand like this and then you'll have a curl but we're going to be just drying it with the brush today so i'm going to plug it in and we'll get started get that smooth and sleek look so i've seen this all over the internet it's trending on tiktok loads of people have been doing lots of videos about it and they're saying how amazing it is so let's try it out so my hair's towel dry it is wet but it's not dripping wet. It dries a lot quicker using the brush when it's towel dried and not completely soaking wet. Otherwise also this is an electrical item so if your hair is dripping wet with water, not a really good idea. So I basically towel dried my hair, did my makeup and then by that time it's ready to use. <laughs> okay. Okay so I'm going to put it on the low setting. It's not as loud as some hair dryers but it's, it's loud. just done one side really quickly so this side's still a little bit damp but you can tell the difference and that was under five minutes like wow okay so i'm just gonna finish up do the other side and have some style i turned the brush up too high by the way just so it dries it a lot quicker um, it's nice on the cool setting when you don't want to like damage your hair but i want to dry it quick today <laughs>
eye already. Wow, look at that. This is silky. my life a lot easier because I used to put off washing my hair even though not washing your hair is actually good for your hair since I got this I'm not like worried about washing my hair because normally it takes so long to dry especially when I have the dreadlocks it could take up to six hours to dry on a wet day and if it's raining and I go outside then it could be like a damp head day all day I don't use hot tools on my hair so this is pretty much the first hot tool that I've used in I think about three years so for me to suddenly use hot tools after three years and say this is really good I'm trying to grow my hair long but you can definitely see it's getting longer like wow I love this brush so if you want to dry and style your hair in under five or ten minutes I definitely recommend this so I got this at Sainsbury's it was reduced from 45 pounds to 25 pounds so it is just a bargain really and I've been looking online and I saw that they have a Revlon all-in-one hair dry brush and that's meant to be super super good it can get very hot this one doesn't get hot at all the handle stays cool I can hold it the whole time and not burn myself even the brush head it doesn't get really hot like you can hold it and you're not gonna burn yourself, which is great. And that also put me off using hot tools before because I just burn myself. And you can do your bangs with it. You can get that nice kind of like blow dried look with it. Another awesome thing that I use this for is to dry my tape in hair extensions. So when I've like washed them, taken them out or need to reapply them, I wanna dry them quick without them having like hanging over in the bathroom on a towel somewhere you know what I mean like so I just dry the extensions with this brush and it just makes it a lot easier and it does it a lot quicker and then the extensions are ready to install into the hair as well so I had a few of you guys message me and you were like I thought you were doing the curly girl method I am um, I like to change things up occasionally and don't worry my hair is still wavy every time I wash my hair my waves come back so I just wanted to try something new it feels weird seeing myself with straight hair because I remember trying to get this look when I was at school and I would use the hair straighteners and it's just crazy I think I'd have to use the dryer and the straightener and the brush and the comb and you don't need that with this you just need one thing and that's the hair dryer brush it has the brush and everything all in one you know what your girl has gone and done I've gone and forgotten to put the heat protection spray on my head so yeah I thought it would be fun to show you and do a little review slash tutorial of me using this one step hair dry brush and thank you so much for watching this video guys I hope you found it entertaining and helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up go subscribe for more and I will see you lovelies very soon in my next video bye guys